A name is not coming to mind. <laughs> I'm the worst with names. I'm sure, like, if I, yeah, if I had a list of people that I admire. Timothée Chamalet, for example. <gasps> I love Timothée Chamalet. Okay, that's my. <laughs> Obviously, the cliche of a French person is cold, like less friendly. And again, I have no experience with that being the case, but that is definitely the cliche. I think, yeah, there's a certain like a style level in, in France that we don't have um, in the U.S. as much. Also a bit of cafe culture um, in that, you know, you sit in the cafe for, for long periods of time and sort of just relaxing and taking in the scene. Kind of stuck up. Uh snobby like they don't want to help you they don't want to talk to you but but also that's just like the stereotype because I went to Paris a few years ago and actually like people were pretty nice. Um, the first thing I think of is that they're very stylish um, and they're always dressed very well and very put together whereas Americans often are uh, very comfortable going out in sweatpants or leggings and not looking our best like just going to the grocery store. Wow. I have been to Paris um, yeah, I loved Paris. It's, it's another one of those cities that I think you can just feel the history when we walk down all the streets. Um, a lot of amazing things to see there. Uh, I've been to Normandy as well. Um, so yeah, it's about my French experience though. I've been to Paris. Um, we went to Normandy and my favorite place is Annecy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's like um, near the Swiss border in the Alps and it's beautiful. <laughs> when I was there, I ate a lot of like baguette and cheese, <laughs> baguette and brie. No, I've not been to France. Again, might go in fall if I can get my passport. Um, I really love Paris. It was very romanticized for me when I went there and I loved it and I didn't want to leave. <laughs> and I love the art and the food and the, all of the sights were just it's so amazing. Wow. There's like a lot of different people from very different backgrounds live in America, like a great many kinds. And I don't know that, I don't know if that's, I don't know anything about France, but I don't know if that's the case about France. Um, I think of it more as like French people who are more native to that area. I guess, I think a lot of food culture is different and not just France, but um, kind of, especially Southern Europe in general, taking your time with food and family and really enjoying it, whereas Americans are often kind of more on the go. I mean, I think, I think they are more uh, kind of ready to take in the moment um, instead of go, go, go. I think a lot of Americans have a, want to do things and get things done. And, you know, in France, you can kind of take a breath and enjoy the day and, and uh, enjoy a glass of wine or a coffee and just sort of relax. Yeah. I will say it seemed like there was more of an emphasis on like saying hello and how are you before asking questions. I've noticed here, like sometimes people will just like bombard you with questions right away and there's no like formal greeting or hello. Um, and I liked that and appreciated that. Wow. No, I guess I, I, again, I think of like soccer players, like um, Antoine Griezmann, I guess is the, ma the most famous probably that I can think of. No, <laughs> I can't think of a French celebrity. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but the ones that I can think of are Timothy Chalamet, which I think he's French, isn't he? Yeah. And I don't really, honestly, don't know any other French celebrities. I guess that's just an American thing. 